And here, Brennan Browning steps into the ring for the very first time. Got some good Nelly walkout music here. Some sexy walkout music. Distracting for the ladies in the crowd. So, as I said, he's one and two in MMA. This will be his kickboxing debut. He's uh, 5'10", so these guys should have a similar height. Yeah, we're both on the kind of the shorter end, maybe, of the, uh, of the heavyweight division, but appears to be well put together, pretty thick shoulders. Most of those guys, those heavyweights at VO2 are tanks. Well, you got guys like, I believe Alex Davis is training there as well. He was time. there in the beginning of his career. He, was, he didn't have a place to train at the time. Tucker Lambert hadn't opened his gym, so he would commute to VO2 yeah, and which was you know, high, train there, or stay at a hotel, yeah. yeah. But they worked with him a lot. But the mainstays there right now are Matt Christ. He's doing really well on the pro scene. Um, but they've also got in the MMA Trayvon Ayler. Trayvon Ayler is a savage. I think he's 6-0 and now, and five of his wins came in under 30 seconds oh, wow. by KO. Absolutely has the death touch. And we've seen Teddy fight out of there several times as well. Yeah, Teddy Bear, saw. of course. Yeah. He, you know, the leader of their boxing program. Just a guy who's been there and done that. He's, he's got over 200 fights. Real knowledge for the sport of boxing, and couldn't be a finer guy. It's so important to have somebody with that level of experience in a gym. Knows how to get people ready, knows what camps are supposed to look like, knows what sparring should and shouldn't look like. All right, we are at bout number three. We have a heavyweight kickboxing guy fighting out of the blue corner, weighing 219 mm. pounds from Gilbert, West Virginia, Brennan Browning. Browning drops down into a split right before the fight starts. And they do catch gloves. Browning with a high kick. Ooh, he gets set. Off balance there and got caught to the body. Just knocked him on his ass a little bit, but he's fine. Referee Matt Jones calls that a knockdown. Was resulting from a punch. But that was a nice kick before the, uh, the slip there from... Mr. Browning. Oh, he gets caught with a hard leg kick, but he lands it with a pretty decent overhand left there. He's just a little off balance. Yeah. If he would get his feet under him, he's, he, he doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Nice low kick. Oh, and he gets set down again with another low kick, it looked like. Or another kick to the body, maybe. It caught him there when he was on one leg. It kind of, uh, he, he was throwing a kick himself. It was off balance again. I wonder if he's having some trouble with the, uh, the friction of the shin pads. Nice low kick from Wimberly Cook. Oh, and a nice flying knee. When he had it backed up into the corner. And that's, a, that's some elevation for a big man. We're seeing good composure here from, uh, from Browning, though, in the face of all this early adversity. He's definitely game. And he's trying to mount his own offense. Wimberly Cook is extremely explosive, though. Oh, it's a blistering right hook to the body. There. And a beautiful low kick to follow it. Oh, let's see. We yeah. almost saw Mr. Browning fall out of the ring there. He looks hurt. Yeah, it looked almost like something happened to his back whenever he got pushed I thought over there. the same thing. He fell really hard earlier as well. We've got Southpaw versus Southpaw here as well. Always interesting to see how that develops because most of these guys are probably used to sparring orthodox people. And you know, Wimberly's got a ton more experience. Oh, that, and oh, that was beautiful. High kick. Oh, and he puts volume on it at the end of the round. And we see Browning survives the first round against a very dangerous Wimberly Cook, who's crazy explosive for a man of his size. He 
pretty clearly won that round. Two knockdowns as well, so well up ahead on the points. But Doesn't Brown look too bad. Yeah. He didn't look like he was flustered in the face of all that heavy offense. Nice you know, low kick. I should oh, speak on uh, Wimberley Cook's MMA record. Doesn't, Doesn't look, look too bad. Too bad. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the guy is an excellent striker. Nice he low kick. He ran into a couple oh, grapples. Oh, That's why you got those two losses on his record. Here he nice is, though, in kickboxing, and it looks like this is where he belongs. Oh, and a nice we flying sort of knee. Jump knee as well as that jump roundhouse near the end of the round. I wonder if nice we'll get to see that guy here. Nice low kick from Wimberly Cook. His hands are quick. Oh, and a nice yeah, flying knee. Style, rear knee then the front and, you know, and, and the really Anthony Pettis style experience. kick. Oh, and oh that was beautiful. High kick. Oh, and he puts volume on it as he ended work on the body as well. And, you know, he's going to heavyweight. Oh, and that was beautiful. that was beautiful. High kick. Oh, and look at the energy here, here in the corner from Wimberly Cook. That's a confident man. He's not tired. And Browning does not look confident. He looks like he is a little in over his head here. But see a small trickle of blood coming out of his nose. He has a ton of heart, though. And he's technically not looked bad. Just balance. Yep. That's the big thing. He's got to get his feet under him in this next round. And he's dealing with a big, strong, explosive heavyweight. That high kick, he gets his leg up really well, but he, he just is off balance every time. He throws a spinning heel kick, he loses his balance in the process. Wimberly really looking a little bit more stable on his feet here. Oh, he throws a high kick of his own. I think we might have got toes. Ah, oh, that was a good straight left hand there. And we see Wimberly kind of adopting that more upright tie style. And he shakes his head at that head kick attempt from Brennan Browning. Oh. Ooh, hard body kick there from Wimberly. Browning changing levels a lot during his combinations, which has kept him out of harm's way a few times. Almost ducked into an uppercut there, though, but you see him again throwing that big overhand and losing his balance. Oh, big right hand, and that hurts him. That time he timed that level change with the right uppercut. Uh, as he throws a right high kick into that angle as well. You cannot question the heart of Brennan Browning, though. Continues forward pressure. Good composure here under the pressure by Wimberly Cook. Looks completely unfazed. Matt Jones asks if he's ready, and he nods stoically. And the fight continues. We hear Wimberly asking if he can knee to the body. Matt Jones reminded him. And there it is. Yeah. And he dives in with his head low, and Wimberly just shoves him to the mat. <laughs> and Wimberly is a showman here. Enjoying some time in front of the camera while Matt Jones gives some instructions to, to Browning. Oh, that, oh, that was that a beautiful was a knee to the, the body. body. Followed by lead leg high kick. And he's out of the ring. Oh, my gosh. That was a close one, folks. Trying to throw that sweet chin music with the, uh, the right foot. But another good Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beat down. It is. And Browning is game. It's, he's, uh, he's staying in there. You've got to respect him. Like he, He's a guy who has no quit in him. He's fighting a man. Oh, that was a beautiful he's knee to the body. body. And he's hanging in there, leading the air. And he's trying to find a way to win. And he's well, trying to work his own punches and, and kicks and counters as well. Oh, that was a beautiful knee to the body. Followed by. We see Browning's corner trying to give him some urgency. Cleaning up that nose. He's got a slow trickle of blood, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Probably not impeding his breathing too much. And over there in the other corner, we see Wimberly Cook. Staying nice and relaxed, giving him some good deep breaths. And you got to think, if you're Wimberly Cook, you want to close the show here. If you I can. agree. You put on a hell of a show right now. Had about a perfect fight, so now you got to put the stamp on it here in this third and final round. Ton of confidence from that corner. And the, the, uh, the slips have eaten up a lot of time as they try to get them back to their feet, too, here.
I have to applaud the heart and courage of Brandon Browning making his debut here against a guy who's had three MMA fights. It's clearly an experience difference. And Brandon's hanging in there here in the third round. Nice hard, hard right low kick. Shift of stances. Thought they were going to come into us. The Wimberley's walking him down with good pressure and good defense. Oh, nice knee to the nice body. Nice knee to the body. Ooh, beautiful high kick. Trying to set up that right high kick, but he throws that toes back roundhouse to the body again. And we see Brown losing his footing again here. You got to think at this point, if you're Brennan Browning, you got to take a small victory here and making it the distance in this fight, which he's, he's on his way to doing it. He's reaching out and pawing a lot, trying to find his distance. We see a physicality difference. So every time that they're, every time they're in contact with each other, Wimberly's just kind of muscling him around now. Oh, nice right hook, left straight. Beautiful oh, knee to the body. Knee to the body. Over and over, he's been landing that. And I think here comes another. He's got that good upright posture in the clinch. It would be nice to see a few more knees out of him whenever they make it in there. He's using the stepping in knees well, but not from the clinch. We've got 38 seconds left ah, in this we got fight. The plum clinch and a nice knee to the body that time. Unfortunately, with the Kentucky rules, you can't hang out in that plum. Yeah. Which, you know, it takes a big part of the kickboxing game away. Yeah, when you take away the... Uh, the Ooh, oh, nice left hook from Brennan. Yeah. He's definitely in this fight the whole time. And with five seconds left... That was a stellar performance from Wimberly Cook. And, and they show huge respect here before the bell even rings. Great job from both men. Ton of heart from Brennan Browning. I would like to see Browning back again. I would too. Against, you know, a guy with a little more similar experience level. Because Wimberly was just too much for him. Yeah. He's just, you can tell Wimberly's been around the game a while. He, he knows his stuff. And even when kind of being overwhelmed technically and power-wise, he still did a good job of uh, hanging in there and providing some good counter offense. He was in this fight the whole time. Well, let's go talk to po probably Wimberly Cook. I'd uh, hate to see it go any other way here. I would guess. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by decision. Your winner by unanimous decision at the red corner, Wimberly Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Wimberly Cook. My friend, you just put on a show. Talk me through that fight. Hey, all glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without him, nothing is possible in my life. For any of you, I'm glad to be here, so thank him first. So talk me through this fight. You had a really tough opponent. Showed a lot of heart. Did you, were you surprised you didn't put him away? Because he ate some huge shots. When he was in the knees, I knew he would like to throw a lot of like, head kicks, which I really didn't train. But, I've been training for like opponent to throw head kicks. I knew everybody know with the head gear, I knew everybody. Like, it's just too easy at that point. He's tough. I was definitely surprised with him. So we've seen you in MMA before. This is your kickboxing debut. Stellar performance. Do you feel like this is where you belong? I'm definitely more well-rounded in kickboxing. I'm really worried about some protection of the guy. So I can just stand a bang. I mean, that's, that's where everybody comes in to see. That's what people want to see. So that's what I'm bringing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a very exciting 